Welcome back to our live show. Traditionally, hush puppies are made from a thick cornmeal based batter and fried until golden brown. Today's recipe adds sweet potatoes to the mix. Check this out. Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a grain-free hush puppy recipe. Now hush puppies are a delicious little fried treat that's typical in the South and they're generally made with corn and corn is not allowed on a paleo diet and for me personally I noticed that it causes a lot of inflammation so I wanted to make a grain-free paleo version that I can enjoy. And so this one is going to be made with sweet potatoes and we're going to be using cassava flour as well. So we're going to start with about one pound of mashed sweet potatoes and I have one teaspoon of uh, garlic powder and I have one teaspoon of onion powder as well and we've got a little bit of sea salt this is about one teaspoon as well and we have about two tablespoons of fresh chives and we're just going to go ahead and give this a quick mix I like to use a fork with it just so that the seasoning can kind of go between the fork and you know get through the the sweet potato and we've got one pack of bacon and I've already gone ahead and cooked this and this is going to give it a really nice crispy flavor and we have some sauteed white mushrooms as well. So this is about eight ounces, about half a pack of a traditional mushroom box. And again, we're just gonna use our fork and combine this a little bit. And you'll notice that things are really kind of starting to stick to it and the sweet potato is separating a little bit, but we're gonna bring it all together with our egg. So we've got one egg that's been beaten and now we're going to be adding in our cassava flour. So I have half a cup of cassava flour and you don't need to sift it. You can just kind of put it in as is. And you'll notice that the sweet potatoes are going to start to get really sticky. And this is going to really, really help to hold it together. And so at this point, I like to switch to a spatula that's going to help us mix this in a little bit better. And you can also use your hands to combine it if you find that that's a little bit easier. Sometimes I like to use a spatula in the beginning. And then at a certain point, when you realize you need to mix it in a little bit more, you can start using your hands. Okay, and now that our hush puppies have been fully combined and mixed together, we're going to start forming these into little ball shapes. And it's a little sticky, but don't worry, you'll be able to form a ball just by move, swishing it in your hands. And we'll just go ahead and make it until we have all of our mix combined before we go ahead and start frying these. And you want them to be probably about an inch, an inch and a half uh, diameter each. And that's going to be a perfect, perfect hush puppy because it'll be nice and moist on the inside and nice and crispy on the outside. And now that we have our hush puppies formed, we have about 10 balls that we were able to make from the one pound of sweet potato mix. And we're going to go ahead and start frying these. And today we're going to be using a stovetop fryer that I have prepared with some coconut oil. And coconut oil is a really great fat. It's very stable at high heat and it's going to be great for cooking these. Now to cook our hush puppies, we have our deep fryer heated over medium heat with our coconut oil. And once it starts to simmer, you can go ahead and raise the basket and place the hush puppies into the basket and dip them into the fryer and it'll take about four to five minutes for them to cook and once you pull them out you can use a slotted spoon to remove them from the basket and go ahead and set them on a prepared dish that has a paper towel on it so that any of the excess oil can drain and let them cool completely before serving them. Okay, our hush puppies are fully cooled and ready to enjoy. So these are ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and take a bite and make sure that these turned out good. Mmm. So good. The crunchiness of the bacon with the sweetness of the sweet potato and just the crunchy outside is absolutely delicious. I'm going to love these. You're not even going to miss the hush puppies with the corn with this recipe. You can get this recipe on my blog, thetrailtohealth.com, and you can also get other delicious and healthy recipes in my cookbook, Wandering Palette, which is also available on my website and Amazon as well. I hope you enjoy the hush puppy recipe.